Oh man! Bitcoin be climbing, man. Man, it's climbing. Let's take a look at Bitcoin. We've just hit 46. We broke through 46, just hovering around now, 45,937. It's a great day for Bitcoin. Let's take a look at the four hourly. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. In that four hour stint, you've gone from 43. What was the low? One second. Low of 43,000 to a high of 46,000. When it moves, it moves. I'll be telling y'all. Now we're moving. So let's take a look. It broke through. You remember I mentioned we've got this 43, bounced off it perfectly. That line's been drawn for ages. That line is, yeah, based on these, where we bounced off it, bounced off it there in April. Look at that. So now we're going to be heading up to that 47 mark. That's our next level of resistance. This breakout of this downward trend is confirmed now. We've had multiple closes on the daily, if I'm correct, outside of that range. Yep, so you've had one, two, three full days out of this range. So that, that that breakout's definitely not a fake out just yet. Um, we can still see some downside. I mean, this is how I want it to grow. I don't want it to be uh, going super fast. I want it nice and steady because what goes up fast can just crash back down again. So we need to rebuild. We had this little battle here. Another little battle here. Nice bounce off this. Look at this, how we respected that. We respected the 38,000 level there. We had a slight breakout on the 39, back down, broke for it the second time with strength. We've gone straight through the 41,000 at the first time of asking uh, and went through the 43, came back to test the 43 level, and now we're heading higher. So now the next level is 47. Can we break through 47 uh, with meaningful momentum? Don't need it straight away. Nice and patient. Uh, we're here for the long run. Let's look at the rest of the crypto market. No doubt they'll be doing well. Let's have a quick refresh on there. Let's see. So we just saw that Bitcoin for 45,900, just shy of 46. But we touched the 46, which I think was the highest since... When were we, when were we at 46? Let's take a look. When did we last touch 46? So we can go back there on the way down as we were crashing down we did not touch 46 since may if i'm not mistaken yep we've not been at 46 since may phenomenal good we can be back in the game now uh we've got to break through this 47 level nice and slowly we could come back for a retest again uh and then head higher to 50 and beyond uh where were we so let's carry on there so you've got bitcoin having a good move uh it's five percent on the day. Ethereum also back past three thousand dollar after spending a little bit of time back under three thousand uh, dollars. Binance Coin flat. Cardano flat. Not much movement here. Surprisingly, uh, oh sorry, that's in the last hour. We've had a three percent move in the day for uh, Cardano, which is good. Uh, One forty eight. Nice strong. Big part of my portfolio. Yeah, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano. Nice and stable. Uh, what else has done well? Dots move 7%. Uniswap, again, not surprised. Layer 1 on Ethereum is Polkadot. Uh, Uniswap, again, uh, doing really well on Ethereum. In fact, let's see if we've got that open still. Perfect. Let's have a refresh. If you remember, we spoke about Ethereum uh, EIP-1559 and the effects. So we're still burning. We've now burned. If I just move myself out of the way, get out of the way. But 18,000 Ethereum has been burnt top of the leaderboard let's have a look look at that just today the most ethereum is well, space poggers what the hell is space poggers space poggers i need to look into space poggers one more than OpenSea and uniswap and axie infinity very interesting so as you, you all of these are as you would expect and then this space poggers which i've not heard of let's look at seven day uniswap still top uh, well, seven days is the same one because we've only had EIP 1559 for less than that. So of all time, you can see this is the leaderboard for who's burning the most Ethereum. I Where are the most transactions happening? Where are the most gas being paid in terms of the base fee? And you can see this is what people are using. They're using OpenSea for NFTs, using Uniswap as their AMM and Axie Affinity. Really interesting. Uh, let's check our burn rate here for Ethereum whilst we're here. 
we can see that the burn rate is still 2.88 per minute. The last hour has been 3.2. Total burned 18,000. Very good. Very good. Again, anybody who was thinking this is going to instantly make uh, Ethereum deflationary, you missed the point. This is for transparency. The whole purpose behind this is we want more people using these platforms here. We want them to make it comfortable and transparent so they can use OpenSea, they can use Uniswap, they can use Axie Infinity comfortably and all the other great things like COVID punks and space poggers or whatever else they find tomorrow. Uh, we want them to use those dApps. Let's hover, head back over to Bitcoin. Let's look at the Ethereum chart. Anything worth noting here? It's just parabolic. I mean, look at that. So these are, these are the lines I've drawn here. I wouldn't be surprised if we had a retest at the 29,000 mark. Uh, we touched it briefly yesterday, but no meaningful uh, direction down on the four hourly because it just it bounced straight back off. So I drew that a bit as in it would take a bit longer, but it fell back down and it's bounced right back off. And now we can carry on back higher. Uh, similar to Bitcoin, I've not drawn it on here, but Ethereum's next resistance levels, it's probably, it's got a bit of a struggle around here. Oh, messing up my charts. So your next resistance level for Ethereum, probably at about, you've got this bunch of resistance here in this mark. So between three, two, up until three, five, it's gonna be hotly contested. But if we can break through that, you can gap back up to the all time highs. Um, but remember those all time hap highs happen very quickly and they didn't last long. I mean, look at that. If we just come back out on the daily for Ethereum. That happened really quickly. That was really parabolic. And then almost all of it came back down here. And now we're rebuilding. But again, that's very steep uh, and very bullish momentum there. But can we go and test that all time high? Bit of work to do before then, but there's no reason why we can't. Cardano. Let's have a look at Cardano. Let's put it on the four hourly. Let's look at what we got here. Okay, look at that. It's just bounces straight back off one dollar and a couple of cents so it's kind of establishing itself that i'm not going below a dollar anymore cardano's like we've had our time under there we're not going back down there so you can see here i drew in the last one of the last videos that we've got to beat this uh previous high we want to make a higher high here so we want to see a meaningful um break above here anything 152 153 154 would be good and then we can go test this resistance i remember when we first beat this 160 mark with the listing on Coinbase and all the other bits, it was difficult to break. So we need some momentum to break past this point before we can go test some of the more meaningful levels back up at here. And then your all times uh, up around this sort of mark here. Okay, so quite a bit, quite a bit of work to do, do there for Cardano. Let's have a look at Dogecoin. What's Dogecoin been saying? And let's move a little bit to Dogecoin, 25 cents. Uh, so if you take that from one o'clock on the 6th of August, uh, oops, if you take that there from one o'clock, 6th of August, at the top, if you timed it perfectly, you would earn a 43% gain. Not that anybody does that, but always nice knowing kind of the swings and the volatility here in crypto. Uh, all right, let's read this. Move me to somewhere. I'm not disturbing you a lot. All right here, we'll do. Right over the trending. Bitcoin retakes £46,000 as rebound continues. Yes. Price of Bitcoin broke 46000 Monday. Yes, we know. Bitcoin traded as high as 46000 Marks its highest level since May. Oh, we already discussed that too, uh, according to Coinmetrics. It last traded at 45939 Yeah, about there again. 5% up of the day. Still there. Price of ETH also broke 3000 Fine, we've discussed all that. Now, the Bitcoin community has made more than 35,000 calls to lawmakers and beefed up its lobbying efforts in the past week. So this is all to do with the infrastructure bill. Yeah. So the government wants to do a whole bunch of infrastructure and they want crypto uh, investors to pay all the money for it. <laughs> so the, it's been delayed again till Tuesday. Is it Tuesday morning? Does it say here? Tuesday. Initially include the bills of pay. No, we don't want to do that. Yep, to Tuesday to allow for more time to debate two competing amendments to a cryptocurrency tax provision. I mean, it's it's bound to happen. We're going to get taxed and we have to get over it, but it's good to see that the market doesn't seem to care and it's looking at the positives. Uh, the markets are probably at least in part reacting to the fact that crypto is getting serious consideration and has a growing number of allies on Capitol Hill, Sam Bagfrosty. Ah, so Sam is the uh, CEO of FTX. They... Uh, 
largely back Solana. He acquired Blockfolio. So Sam knows what he's talking about. He's like one of the youngest crypto millionaires, uh, billionaires, sorry. Uh, so he knows what he's doing with Alameda Research, the the crypto based P fund. Um, so yeah, he's absolutely right. I mean, it's just it's a positive that these people are even talking about it, and the fact that there's thirty five thousand calls to lawmakers and some important names standing up uh, to speak for crypto investors. Uh, that that's that's a really good sign. There's been surprisingly large pro crypto stance taken in the course of this. He said it's one of these things where even if it loses in this exactly, even if it loses in this particular amendment, a lot of senators have ended up taking crypto stance that never said anything before. This is perfect for us. It's exactly it. Before these people wouldn't even use the word crypto in their mouth. They're trying to act like it was uh, this was a bunch of rebels and we can't talk about crypto on these platforms. But they're talking about it, and that's a pro. Before they wouldn't even talk about it. Senator Loomis said in a press conference the same morning that regardless of the outcome of the crypto tax bill, the decisions of the past week were an education to many in Congress. Good. So they're actually listening to people in the crypto world and hopefully they're learning something. And hopefully, you know, with Gary Gensler as the SEC chair, I made a video on that, so go check that out, guys. Hopefully it can bring some good regulation. We're not anti-regulation completely. We just don't want to uh, stifle growth. As You know, it's almost like, you know, and America, US has done this a few times where they kind of inhibit innovation. And you don't want to do that because you're going to fall behind. I mean, look at how slow the U.S. was with regulation with crypto in the first place and how China got that head start. And it's only now because China's choose to ban their miners that the U.S. has got a bit of a, uh, they've come back on track. But we can't lose, it's like, it's like kind of regulating internet before all these Amazons, Apples, uh, all these Ebays, all these companies before they could be built. Like, why would you miss out on all this innovation and GDP growth just because you want a little bit now to help your infrastructure build? What's, where's the longer term picture in that? You could be a leader in this crypto space and build the trillion dollar companies here in the Western world that are benefiting from the crypto space. It's a truly generational piece of technology. Why would you, why would you be in such a rush to regulate it? Um, not, but again, this is where the balance is naturally. And if we went through uh, uh, Gary Gensler's uh, remarks at his forum, and if people are getting burnt, and we need transparency, I'm all for those kind of things. But just regulating it for regulation's sake, just to improve your fiscal policy position, that's not where it's at. We have found people in Congress who either want to learn or because this digital asset industry mobilized on social media to lobby in a very positive, respectful way. We have to illustrate to members of the Senate that there are a lot of people interested in digital assets working in some aspect of digital assets. Okay, good. You should know by now. Yeah, the market seemed to shrug off worries about the infrastructure bill, but they said that gold sell-off and stock market rally are the backbones of Bitcoin's price movement on Monday. I don't believe Bitcoin rallied because of the gold price correction. The more likely explanation is that market participants are learning how crypto, how important crypto markets are increasing and are increasingly allocating to these markets. Crypto is so important that it's made in the infrastructure bill and centers are debating crypto provisions before passing the bill. Let's see what else he says. Uh, Bitcoin hovered in the 30,000 range for weeks. Yes, we know. Before it's climbing back up since the end of July. It's cleared three tiers of resistance in the past three weeks, including the 50-day moving average and the cloud model, and also 15, the 200-day moving average. Cool. The minor breakouts reflect positive short-term momentum and improved intermediate-term momentum following July's successful test of the support near 30,000. The next hurdle on the chart is just above 51,000 pounds. Exactly what we've just said. Okay. So we know that we've broke clear of this one. And we go well. I don't. They've they've kind of not considered the forty seven thousand. We'll see about that. Let's see if we, if I'm right or if they're right. But then yes, you're back at the fifty fifty one thousand range here. Okay. But I think we're gonna have a little challenge here at forty seven. That's why I put it in yellow, not green, because it's a slightly weaker uh, resistance. But it's resistance nonetheless from my analysis. Um, so yeah, things are looking good for Bitcoin. Uh, I think look. There's a few different factors here. One, we've shrugged off the infrastructure bill. I think the the inflation fears, I'm going to post a video out on that. So look out for my thoughts on whether we should be scared of inflation as, as growth investors, as crypto investors as well. Um, but I think a lot of that fear of inflation is what is leading. And the good jobs report on, um, on Friday for the non-farm payrolls are leading to this uh, uptick in Bitcoin. Now, let's see. If there's anything else, who else were the biggest movers in the last 24 hours before we head off? Internet computer. ICP's always been one I've wanted to look at. I've never 
actually taking the time to look at it. Litecoin still doing well. Polkadot, Uniswap, we mentioned why those would be doing well. Solana, that was this is the one backed by Almeida Research from Sam in the article. Uh, Polygon Matic, another la layer one for Ethereum. Anything in the Ethereum play is going to be smashing it. So Dogecoin doing all right. Ethereum's obviously doing well. Let's do it on a seven day. Let's look at the bigger picture. Wow, 50%. Wow, wow, wow. So they would have been in the 30s. It's a big market cap. Wow. Uh, sorry, a lot of volume in there. So they're half the market cap of Uniswap. But look at the volume trading, massive. Okay, wrap Bitcoin, Bitcoin 5%. Okay, all looking pretty steady, Eddie. Uh, Bitcoin just needs to continue to trend higher and we'll be well on our way. So there you have it, guys. That was our crypto update for today. If there's anything interesting, I'll jump on to give you guys an update. Uh, we've had a 5% increase in the global crypto market over the day, which is fantastic. Bitcoin's hovering around $46,000, so we can't complain. And the infrastructure bill is delayed till Tuesday. So we've got another day. Let's see where that comes out. Um, but like that article said, it's all about the education and the fact that more people in those positions at Capitol Hill are talking about crypto and educating themselves on it. Hopefully they can start making the right decisions around good regulation and not stifling growth and innovation in this nascent space. All right. So there you go, guys. Bitcoin update. See you guys in the next one.